What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with a new video and today we have something from Corsair, the Corsair HS80 RGB wireless headset and this thing is amazing. So I heard it's really good, it looked good, so I was excited to test it out and also I will be doing the mic test, all that stuff, but first we have to look at the unboxing experience. Um, off the rip though, the box looks really nice, I can see some sound wave panels on the side so that's interesting. All right, unboxing knife open, and first you can see compatible with off the rip PC, Mac, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4. It has Dolby Atmos, RGB, all of that good stuff. So yeah, let's jump in. Also, this retails for 150 US dollars, so it's really competitively priced against things like offerings from Logitech, like the G733, and also the G Pro headsets. So yeah. This is what we get. Let's open it some more. Boom. So that's the headset and this looks nice. It already looks super comfortable. Oh my God. Yeah, this is a premium build. I could feel it off the rip. Feels like plastic, but it feels very, very premium. I like that. So what else we get inside the box? So I think this is the receiver. So yes, it does come with a receiver that you could plug into the PS4 as well. So we have a braided cable, USB Type-C, love to see it. Thank you, Corsair. So yeah, so we get this braided cable, looks about, I don't know, almost like six feet cable. So you have the warranty guide and the Dolby Atmos for headphones. I'm excited to test this out. All right, so as I said before, I got this a week early, so I will be using this for a couple of days and then I'll get back to you guys with my honest opinion and full review. So Chevy from the future, what's your thoughts? Alright guys, it has been a couple days I've been using this headset thoroughly and we also have some good and bad news. First, we're going to talk about the comfort, we're going to talk about the build quality, the audio quality, and also the mic quality. Then finally, we're going to wrap things up. So first off, let's talk about comfort. All right, so at this point, it seems as if everyone is copying SteelSeries lineup headsets, and honestly, I don't mind it. I always say it's good when companies copy features from each other, as long as they copy the good stuff. For example, the Logitech G333 copied SteelSeries with the headband, which is cool, but they forgot to copy the swivel feature, which puts it at a disadvantage. So with the Logitech G733s, yes, it got that nice headband, the ski band or whatever you call it, but whenever you put this thing around your neck, it's just stuck there. It's a wireless headset. You want to get up, you want to go upstairs, stuff like that. So it gets kind of annoying just sitting here. Now, obviously, Corsair clearly understood the assignment here. So they do have this steel seared type of headband right here, but also they made sure to get that swivel feature down pack. So whenever you have your headset over your neck or anything, you're getting up, you're going upstairs. This is just super annoying to just have it hutching up under your neck. So the ability to just fold this down here makes it super, super comfortable. It might be rubbing on the mic and stuff, but yeah, I love this feature. Good job, Corsair. Now, in terms of the memory foam air cushions, it's very soft and plush, but hear me out. The first couple of days you use it, it might feel tight and uncomfortable, but trust me, after day three or so, it will start to break in. And man, Corsair just really made a very comfortable pair of headsets. They don't actively noise cancel, but the fit is good enough to drown out any background noise. I could wear these headsets for hours on end without any ears hurting or all that. And also, if you wear glasses like me and you want to wear these, you know, I wear glasses, I play with them every single day, I have no issues, it doesn't squeeze the glasses or anything, I could easily put them on, boom, take them off, easy as well, and yeah, if you wear glasses, you don't need to worry about these headsets squeezing onto them, you'll be perfectly fine. One issue that I've found so far with the ear cups is that it's not like replaceable as far as I know. So if it gets dirty or your dog thought it was like a perfect snack and bites it up, there's no official way to swap out them and like get a replacement for it. But yeah, overall, I think Corsair did a really good job in terms of comfortability with the HS80s and with the ski mask or whatever you call it, the headband, you could also adjust it with this adhesive under the headband right here. So depending on how big your head or small your head is, you could adjust it to make sure you get that perfect fit. Next up, we have the build quality. And the headset is very well built. It doesn't feel cheap at all. There's no rattling or squeaking when moving the headset. Listen. Mm. 
know what I'm saying? There's nothing to worry about here in terms of build quality. Flex wise, you can see this is flexing very nicely. The only real moving part you have here is the swiveling of the headset and that's it. So, oh, also the mic. So in terms of like durability, you don't really have to worry too much about this thing breaking because there's not too many moving parts. Now, the reason why this feels kind of heavy and premium is that Corsair said it's made of a premium materials like aluminum, which shows around the ear cups and the swivel mechanism. But there's also some form of plastic, of course, which in turns keeps the weight down. This thing weighs in at just 365 grams, not the lightest when it comes on to gaming headsets, but for that premium build quality, that's the price you have to pay. The material used on the outer part of the headband right here is I don't I'm not sure why they use this type of material but it loves to show grease I think it's because of the RGB it gets to show the RGB nice but if you like to eat Popeye's chicken like me you want to make sure that you wash your hand every single time because the grease loves to show on the sides and also at the top where you have this Corsair logo yeah so these two parts on the side of the ear cup and at the top it's a grease magnet. The headset itself doesn't fold into a smaller compact design. So portability might be an issue here, but then again, that's the most case with most gaming headsets. For example, this one from Logitech, it doesn't really fold or anything. And also the Royal popular Logitech G Pro, no folding. So yeah, that's something typical in the gaming headset scene. Now, the quality of the mic feels premium as well, even though I wish it was a bit more stiff and stayed in place. So for example, when I have it around my head just like this and I want to like, you know, kind of turn it in to where my mouth is, it doesn't really stay put, but I guess they designed it like that because they don't want you to air rip anywhere. So yeah, I just wish it's kind of stayed in place, but so far it feels like it's sturdy. There's also a white LED light strip around it to make sure you guys know that the mic is on. Even though it kind of gets annoying at night, you could turn it off in the IQ software. And yes, it's a swivel mic. So you could swivel it up like this. Unfortunately, it's not detachable. Would have loved to seen that as a feature. So if you have a headset like this and you swivel the mic up, it automatically mutes it. And that just comes in so clutch. Like if, you, if you're just playing the game and you hear your parents call you or something like that, boom. You don't have to fiddle with any settings around the back and all that. It's just a really nice feature to have. And speaking about features, this thing packs a punch. Let's talk features with the Corsair HS80 headset. As we saw in the unboxing, you get a single USB receiver that you just plug into your PC and it automatically installs all the drivers for you. So it's basically plug and play. That's the same receiver that you would use to connect to your PlayStation. So if you have a PlayStation 5 or 4, it also works. Since this headset doesn't have Bluetooth or a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can plug it into the PlayStation though, which is nice to see. Now on the left of the air cup is where we have all the functionality. We have the USB-C port, which is for charging. We could get up to 20 hours of battery life, and which is enough to get throughout the day. But if you stay up 24 seven and you're a gamer gamer, you can use the headset while it's charging. So that's also a very nice feature to have. Right above the charging port right here, we have the power on and off button, which is very easy to use and also very easy to reach, which is an underrated feature. A lot of these headsets, you have to like get used to it to take a week to get used to all the volume controls and all of that. With this, the power on button is there, very easy to reach. And also then right below that, you have a satisfyingly smooth volume wheel. So when you're scrolling this wheel, you could feel the increments. So it goes up by increments of two, which is nice. And it also doubles as an EQ button. So whenever you're in the core, the Corsair IQ software and you press this thing, you could set your own presets, but it automatically scrolls through the default presets that Corsair gives you. But as I said before, you can make your own presets and use this to change between them. Speaking about Corsair IQ, let's jump into the software to see all the features and also how we could control the RGB on this headset. All right guys, so here we go, Corsair IQ. Love that everything is laid out here perfectly. So we have the HS wireless receiver where we could go to pair new devices. Also, I'm recording with the microphone from this headset because I think it would be fun so you guys could hear what it sounds like. Jumping on over to the HS80s, you can see we have lightning effects, equalizer, and device settings. With the lightning effects, it's self-explanatory. You could change the different lighting on the headset. You know, you could go crazy if you want to custom could use your custom lighting or just use the presets there are tons of different presets you guys could go ahead and play with next up we have the equalizer so they give you five equalizers you could choose from off the rip i love this eq i made you guys could copy this this kind of adds more bass and everything you could obviously go into detail play around with it until you get to your preferred light 
liking and you could just switch between them with the volume button as I, I showed you guys earlier we also have side tone side tone is really nice if you tend to shout or scream a lot while you're playing this kind of lets you monitor your voice it's really nice to have if you can't really control your voice when gaming we also could turn down the mic volume so I'm probably low right now because the mic volume is low boom back to the regular volumes I like to keep side tone off device setting you could check for updates here see your battery status also control the brightness off your rgb on the headset right here you have auto shut off you could turn it off or on and also you could change how long you want it to shut off after inactivity this will sh show you the battery in the action center for your headset as you guys can see right here voice prompts basically this allows you to have a voice prompt whenever you perform certain actions like muting your microphones voice prompt activated as you guys listen to this right now mic off mic feedback off yeah mic on mic feedback on i don't really like it so i like to turn that off and also you could disable the led light when the mic is active and i like to do that because i already know the mic is active when it's down here and it also saves battery life so yeah that's basically everything for the iq software and there's ton more stuff you could play around with but yeah just to keep it short and sweet. Okay, so now on to the most important thing, aside from comfort, and that's to me, the audio quality. How does this thing sound? How does it sound for $150? Honestly, it sounds great. The custom tune 50 millimeter drivers packs a punch. And I think even the sound is, it sounds better over wired connection, even over wireless, it still sounds great. One thing that's missing to me is a thumping bass. I played around with the presets and all that to try to replicate that, but I just couldn't feel, you know, like when you have bass on your ears, you could feel the bass. I don't really think you could feel it, but you could hear the bass. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, that's how I could describe it. Good highs and lows, very clear, especially with vocals footsteps you could hear them really clean i dedicated three days playing fortnite and also valorant yes fortnite i know but i wanted to just hear how the positional audio sounded like i could clearly hear people above me and below me and also with the dolby atmos support it's amazing so if you haven't heard what spatial audio sounds like i definitely recommend you guys to play around with the dolby atmos software on your pc and you could literally hear the sound traveling around you it's like 3d you, you turn your head you hear what's over here hear what's over to the left it's definitely what i expected since i've had experience with dolby atmos before and i think corsair nailed it with the hs 80s all right so to wrap things up after three four days of competitive play this is a very good deal for a 150 dollar headset you're getting a great design premium materials good enough mic to even stream with Good sound quality with Dolby Atmos support, the ability to work with the PS4 or PS5, and also the icing on the cake, we got that RGB functionality to boost your FPS. Even have voice prompts, which is kind of typical, but it's also nice to see. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below on this headset. If I missed anything, I probably did. So leave them down below in the comments. Links to this headset will also be down below in the description for you guys. So yeah, Corsair HS80s. Will you guys be picking one up? I already have it. I think it's pretty cool. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.